All right, I think we're live. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the unboxing of the uh, high-grade M9 Falc from Metal Gear Panic, Invisible Victory. Well, here we can see from the box that the box is very good looking, and then there is a AS of it looks like the I it looks like a wolf that is getting um slightly exposed on the pelvis here, and M9 D holding a um pretty big machete sword looking thing. Uh, from the top, we can see that there is some description of uh the model kit. Which is um that it's uh being designed by Kanetake Ebikawa and uh, ep the gimmick from the Paul gimmick from the pelvis, uh, the various weapons I have and the special weapon that I has. And on the back side, here's uh some more picture of the completed product, and then you know, naturally. At the same time, oh, this is really. I use this really way after the end. So here, here's the uh, promotional picture of the end. All right, open up. Oh. So we have a fair number of runners, so let's just take it all out. So here's the sticker. Um, everything looks dark gray or dark blue or black. Um, fairly difficult to distinguish. I'm gonna assume that this is gonna look like a big dark blue black block. Very very sharp looking block though, hopefully. There's a manual. Very very cool um, pose. It's the same pose as the... No, it's the exact same pose as the, the box art. And they call this the arm slave rec recognition gun instead of a build manual. Um, there are a few color pages, and but most build is in black and white or grayscale. Uh, we have a fair number of parts that is uh, will be not used because this is a. Uh, the same runners from the Arbalus and and uh, here in the eye run eye frame, we can definitely see that there are the shoulder shields from the M9. And uh, here is some text uh, for the heat lens. You can pause if you want to read this. And here is some text uh, for the Falc itself. Zoom in a little bit on the English bit. You can pause if you want to read it. And uh, I think this is just a statement made uh, from Ben to what is the other guy's name again? Ben to Weber. Yes, Weber. Since this is purchasing North America, there is also this uh, translation manual. Um, I'm not sure why this is included because uh, the manual is clearly in both English and Japanese. I guess other language still needs to be covered, so well, this could be useful for some people. All right, so let's open the runners. So here's the runner, it appears to just be frame parts. Not focusing, there we go. I have not built one of these kit, but uh, so I'm not really sure what these are for. Uh, there's two of these, they're the C-frame. I'm very, wearing a very, very orange shirt, as you can see. 
And this is the A-frame. So unlike uh, the regular Bandai kits, this is not a multicolor kit. But this looks like it contains like bits of the shoulder and the leg parts. Uh, another symmetrical frame, this is the E parts. It will be interesting to see if we can assemble a complete uh, M9 uh, in regular... in a and I with all the parts, but just with the blue and dark, the dark blue runner. So this is a PC part. Um, interesting. The neck itself is entirely PC. Uh, this is the hands and weapons part. You can see the. I guess this will be the assault rifle and uh, the knife. Oh no. Mono like killer knife. Uh, here is the head part for the elk and the bunny ears, or the cat ears, or the bat ears, ears of some sort. Here we have the sticker sheet for the knot. We have the sticker sheet for the eyes, and uh, it will be the crotch area, and uh, I think um, the two long strips, number three there, for the butt flaps. Here we have some area, uh, the face itself and parts of the leg. And uh, we have two of these, because I think uh, there are two legs but only one head, so uh, we got some repeated parts. We get two faces, not two heads. Uh, this is M2, so this is a partial runner from N1, it seems. That kind of goes here. Assume that if they were to do it in one part, that's how the entire runner will look. Uh, here we have the runner for the heat lens. This is part N. And uh, this is quite a sizable blade for a 160. Uh, for a 160 scale, this is maybe not a very big blade, but then for arm sleeve, this is pretty big. And here we have another lens and another uh, set of blades. Here we have runner F. This seems to be some of the chest parts um, and uh, some other unrecognizable part. Uh, and here we have the, uh, the traditional um, carbine and uh, I guess this will be the front parts for um, the rifle that for rifle for this. And we're on to the last egg. Which is runner B. Um, runner B appears to be some of the torso parts. And some of the... Um, this looks like leg parts. And uh, these are torso. That's torso as well. This is the pelvis and some hand parts. And uh, this is the the shoulder blades of the M9. Uh, but what is uh, very very much missing is the the head of the M9. So we do have a face, but then it doesn't appear that we have the head of them. So yeah, this is the um, this is the unboxing uh, of the, the M9D Falk and. Uh,
We'll see you if I do a live stream of the build itself. Thank you guys for watching.